Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Welcome to This Week in Engineering, a special This Week in Engineering from the show floor at the Rapid Plus TCT event in Detroit, Michigan. I'm Jim Anderson, Director of Multimedia Content at Engineering.com. I'm with Greg Johnson. He's Manufacturing Simulation Specialist at Altair. And Greg, we're standing in front of a very exotic looking 3D printed, additively made motorcycle. And this is what I would call highly topology optimized, isn't it? Yes, this is a optimized motorcycle using our software Inspire. Um, and Inspire is a uh, program that can do topology optimization and optimize it for the various manufacturing processes uh, that you want to use, whether it's additive manufacturing or casting or any other of the other manufacturing processes that we support. Now, Craig, uh, engineers traditionally are taught to think about the triangle of forces. So everything operates sort of like, it's almost like resolving vectors. So it's a very Cartesian way of thinking about the world at this point. These structures are, they're very organic in shape. There are very few straight lines here. It seems almost impossible to, to calculate how the forces flow through here. Could, is it possible you could imagine your way directly to a rendering of something like this, or do you have to go straight to topology optimization? In a traditional uh, design process, an engineer would never get this out of their head. You know, you just couldn't understand all the forces involved in that specific part and how those uh, forces are transferred through that part uh, to its various locations of uh, force loads and restraints. Yeah, now traditionally, of course, it's in, in production applications of things like this, you know, uh, automotive, aerospaces, is that you've, you, you design something, you build a, a, a prototype or a, a functional test fit sample, then you break it and you go back and you, f you figure out where it broke and you, you redesign it. And it's, it's sort of an iterative process, but that's expensive, expensive way to do it. Uh, where does simulation fit into this? Can you break these things virtually before you have to cut metal? Yeah, so, for, so our process is repetitive. So you start off with your, your blank, you design your loads, your restraints in the process, and then you design your design space. From that design space, you uh, create your topology optimization based upon the manufacturing process. Uh, for example, if you're doing additive manufacturing, you don't want to get put overhangs in your part. If you're designing for casting, you've got a different set of requirements. Uh, so each set of requirements will provide you a different part uh, in a different structure for that part. And then um, it's an iterative process from there where uh, you do FEA on that part to, to make sure that that part can survive the forces and loads that you're gonna apply to that part in production. And this is really important uh, today as we try to lightweight vehicles, uh, improve fuel economy, you know, going to electric vehicles where you know the battery alone adds weight to the vehicle. So you wanna remove it you know, through the topology optimization. Uh, Craig, is um, is topology optimization simulation, will this be the end of testing as we know it? I mean, traditionally, you make stuff, you, you test it, you test it hard, you break it, you redesign, you, you test again. That's like, a, are we looking at a world in the future where basically we're gonna push a button and we're gonna know before we make the thing that it is perfect? I think eventually you might get there, uh, but I think uh, uh, I think engineers will always wanna, wanna test things, uh, make sure that what you've put in the computer, how you've set it up, actually works in, in real life. Uh, without that, that physical testing, you don't know. Uh, the other thing we have is, is changing processes, changing materials. You're still gonna wanna do testing for that. Make sure that you have the optimized shape, the optimized material for your application. Is um, topology optimization simulation, is this gonna change the way engineers imagine or conceptualize shapes and structures right at the rendering level? Do they have to think about this early in the design process or you design first and then, then apply it? Well, this is a process that is done right, right in the design stage. Um, so it's not done after the fact. Uh, you determine your loads, your, your function of the part that you want. You design that design space and then you optimize that, that part. So this is a part of the design uh, space. And it really uh, adds to the existing tool set that engineers have uh, at their desktops today. Um, so I can see this uh, complementing the existing tool set that engineers have today. Is this the future? Is this sort of thing we're looking at now, this very exotic looking motorcycle? Is this the way everything, you know, from toasters to jetliners are gonna be in the future, do you think? I think it depends upon the product. You know, what, what is the application you're doing? What are the product requirements? Um, like I said before, you've got aerospace, uh, automotive, where you really wanna take weight out of the product. Uh, 
there's other companies that weight may not be an issue. Uh, you may need that weight. Uh, for example, agricultural equipment. That weight may be advantage uh, if you're putting a plow in the ground. Uh, but then your tractor, you want that to be optimized because you don't want to have that compaction in the field. Uh, so, you know, it depends upon the requirement of the product that you're designing. Topology optimization and simulation, a natural fit for additive manufacturing, says Greg Johnson at Altair. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.